so we've been wanting to redo this landscaping ever since we moved in and you know i should have shot some video of it but i took the tractor and i ripped everything out yesterday it was one of those things where we just wanted to get it done so i got it done use the stump bucket which that thing's amazing so anyway this is all clean slate so i'm going to clean up some of these roots and then we're going to till it So now I'm just going along and digging back where the tiller couldn't get because you got to have this dirt away from the edge of the sidewalk. We're going to put stone in here, landscape stone, and it's got to have an edge to rest against. So what else are you going to get from my channel? Well, you know what? You're going to get variety. I don't do the same thing every day. My life changes, my chores change, my projects change. If you like variety, I'm your guy. So now all the extra has been dug out, it's been rototilled, and uh, put down weed block now. This edge right here, that's super important because we're gonna put river rock in there. And you gotta have this edge, it's about two, actually this right here is about three or four inches, but just so the river rock doesn't spill out onto the sidewalk. This is the part to me that feels like cheating. Got a load of river rock in my dump trailer. Scooping it with the tractor. And now I'm gonna spread it. Huh. Well, we can't have that. Okay, all the stone is put in, and uh, my wife's been busy buying plants. And let me just show you, she's got some of them planted here. This is why you put the weed block in, then you pour all the stone on top of it, and then plant the plants. And all you have to do to plant these plants is you just, you know, scrape back the, the stone and you cut an X 
where you want your plant, plant your plant and then just put it back. It's the easiest way to do this that we've found. And um, I think it works out great. So she's going to continue planting plants over here where I've already finished the putting the river rock in. And uh, now I'm going to start over here on this side of the sidewalk. So she's got a layout here with these driveway stakes right about how far I need to come out. And let me tell you something, it's just side note here. I got a good score. I got a bunch of these plastic pallets. Um, they're perfect for this type of stuff, putting stones on. They're not the big 48 by 40s. Uh, and, and you want a, a small platform for when you're lifting. These are 22 pounds a piece, so I put about 20 of them on each pallet and the tractor handles them very well. So it's nice to be able to just bring these over and lay them where they're gonna be and um, get them in place. But to get them in place, I need to start at this lowest area right here. This is the lowest point. So I'm gonna paint this layout that she's got here and I'll show you once I get started here how this works. You start at the lowest point and you go over and make sure your blocks stay level right where they're supposed to be. And then when you get to the point where the ground goes up higher than the edge of the block, you start your next row. You'll see what I'm talking about. I'm quite certain that the hardest part of every day is just getting started. You gotta get all your tools back out. And you know, I've got multiple projects going on, so <laughs> gotta go down to the barns and get stuff. But anyway, what am I doing right now? Well, like I say, we're finding the lowest spot. And I think the lowest point is just right over here behind me. I know from the uh, layout of the landscaping, and my wife had a uh, professional landscaper where we bought all of our plants from, design this, is we were gonna come nine feet out from the corner of the house here, and that's where the, 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 the corner tree, that's like a, this, this whole area is kind of like a real feature, okay? So there's gonna be a tree at nine feet, so we're gonna put a stake at nine feet. Now we know that the full perimeter of this area is gonna be 18 feet. So we're gonna just take double that nine feet where that tree goes and go straight out. And I've already marked that right there with a stake. But now we wanna take the circumference of this circle where these stones are gonna go and we wanna base it off of where the tree is, not the corner of the house. If you do the corner of the house, it's gonna throw everything off. So we're gonna take nine feet from where the tree is and put some more stakes in a semicircle. Now that I've got a pretty good little half circle here, I'm gonna go ahead and just mark where these are. Nice, easy sweeping line, perfectly marked nine feet all the way around from where that tree is. All right, now I think we're finally ready to start laying some block. We've got our lowest point here. We've got our starting point. We've got our perimeter. We know exactly what, where we're gonna put these things. Right now, you don't need any type of landscape fabric or weed block or anything just going to put these over that pink line and make sure they are level front to back and level side to side. That is pretty good. Um, to adjust them though, just take your rubber mallet and pound on the high side, you know, get them set down in there good. The main part is getting level side to side. That's about good right there. Okay, pretty simple procedure here now. You can see here, I've dug a little bit away. What we're doing is, this ground is starting to go up, obviously, going up the hill a little bit. So you're gonna just take your flat shovel, and look, I can already tell I didn't dig enough out. This edge right here is sticking up, so I'm just gonna roll this back away. And you take your shovel, just, just chisel away at it a little bit. Do not dig too much. If you dig too much, 
then you got to put more material back in and it's not very solid so just shave away what you need try it again that's getting better we're gonna knock that down in place there's our block there we take this level across there and that is perfect just continue on to the next one okay got a pretty good first row started and I've come to a very important stopping point so we're going to talk about this right here this is where this first row is going to come pretty darn close to even with the, the ground so this one's getting buried in there we've only got maybe an inch left so you want to take your next block and we'll set it right next to this block where it's going to go okay and you want to take your shovel and you want to dig right next to it exactly where it's going to end all right now we can move the block out of the way and you're going to dig this out right there even with the edge where that block was try and not dig too deep just get it to where you think is about where that block is going to meet the surface so we're going to dig this out i'll probably have to do a lot of scraping here that's fine all right get this chunk of sod out of here and one thing doing one block at a time like this is way better than trying to dig out a whole length of it because if you get off a little bit you know you can make up for it you can adjust whereas if you dig it all out and you dig it all out wrong well guess what that's going to make a big problem all right let's get this now you're going to end up hitting some small roots just chop them off these small surface roots you're not hurting anything by taking those out but it will certainly mess your wall up if you leave the roots in All right, I think we can pound that into place now. You'll get to know with how firm your ground is. How much you'll be able to make up with a hammer. It's a lot easier to dig it out than to keep whacking it with a mallet. All right, let's check that. Maybe going uphill just a tiny hair, but that's good enough. Okay, now that's not good. Yeah, so I'm either gonna have to dig out another one, which I think I'm gonna do, We'll do one more and that'll bring it up to even. You don't want a drop off because if you got a drop off, you got to take loose material and fill that in and that loose material is going to settle. So better to dig another one out, get it at least even with or even below the surface of the ground. Let's do another one. And there we go. One more block did it. Look at that. That's perfect. So I'm going to take a little bit of this loose dirt and I'm just going to fill in around this a little bit here. Just fill these cracks. Just because the next, next layer is going to go right there and I want that to be filled in nicely a little bit more. Okay, this is going to be your next row. You want it to be right in the center of this one. You want to divide them in half. So we're gonna get that started. Right on the center of that one. Beautiful. That's perfect. Okay. Now you can pretty clearly see what's happening here. Get this stuff out of the way. And I've gotta level all this up 
and just continue with this row doing the exact same procedure. We'll take the shovel, we'll scrape off the sod, and we'll continue with this row straight along. Okay, here we go. So that's where we made our transition to the next level there. You saw that before. I just went straight along, did the exact same thing, and we are ready to transition to another level again. So this last level is gonna be our last level. It'll be the top level, and that's gonna come out even with the sidewalk over there. So all I have to do is just shave that off, make it nice and easy, level, and I'm gonna end up where those blocks are over here. Now we're getting somewhere. Okay, I think the hardest stuff is done, unless you don't have a tractor. Now, those of you that don't have a tractor, you can do this still. You're just gonna have to use shovels and wheelbarrows and it's gonna be a lot more time and a lot more work, but take small bites. Anytime you do a self-improvement, self-improvement, home improvement, DIY project, it is self-improvement at the same time though. Um, you know, you gotta, you gotta take what, what your body will allow you to do, so trying to get a lot of this done before we got some rain coming this morning but I've got two layers in down here that is where I need to fill with dirt that is where the plants are going to be planted this this is a good you know six to eight inches shallow because we stack these blocks on top of the original grade so that all needs to be filled in so I'm going to use a tractor I'm going to bring in bucket loads of dirt and I'm going to fill this all in so it's nice and even with that second row just up to the top of the second row because we're going to put weed block on it over that we're going to put weed block over it after that i am finally ready to lay weed block this is fantastic we got a little bit of rain it rained just enough to make it kind of slimy on top but i got all the dirt put in before it rained so it didn't turn to mud and uh, just got it nice and even with that second to last layer of block because that's what you're going to be planting in now, I'm gonna start over on this side, right next to the house, where it's nice and straight. I'll meet up with the weed block that I've already laid over here, and I'll work my way this way. Make sure you give yourself plenty of overlap and plenty of room on the edges. You can cut it off later. Don't try and save inches of it. You don't wanna come up short. So, we're gonna get this stuff laid out, and uh, we'll see it when it's done. All right, <laughs> here's a major payoff. Next thing is to put in the river rock. Now, you may be tempted at this point to cut the excess weed block off the edges. Don't, because when you put the river rock in, it might pull it back some, you know? So save that until the end. And if you're gonna wheelbarrow the river rock in, do what's closest to you first. Like I'm gonna start from the sidewalk and I'm gonna be using the tractor, but I'm gonna pour the gravel from there and then drive over the gravel so I don't mess up the weed block. That's next. At least I'll be on the tractor and I can take a break. And there you have it, professional quality landscape beds ready for planting. My wife has already planted a bunch of plants, but the planting season is pretty much over for this fall, and we'll be filling this area in in the spring. Now, I wanna say a couple things about weed block. Weed block does not prevent weeds from happening. There's a reason I like using river rock instead of mulch. Mulch breaks down and becomes dirt, and you might as well just <laughs> plant the weeds in there at the beginning because they're gonna come and they're gonna really get a hold in there. The weed block prevents the weeds from coming from underneath and creating a real mess. What happens in the river rock is if a seed gets a hold 
and they will, they'll never get a really good hold. And you can just walk along and just grab them out because the river rock doesn't allow them to, to get that firm hold like they would in dirt. So that's why I prefer river rock. Um, some people will say it's not as good for your, your landscape plants, but it works just fine and it's so much easier to maintain. Now, I wanna end this video with some before and after shots of uh, what it used to look like compared to what it looks like right now. I hope you enjoyed it and I will see you next time when I'm doing more stuff.